it's really important to learn how to change the privacy or security setting of a Google Chrome browser extension. Let me go ahead and show you. So for example, this is a plugin that I actually want to use. I do use it on another browser, but uh, let me go ahead and install it on this one. So I'm gonna click Add to Chrome, and notice it says, if you add this, it can read and change all your data on all websites that you visit, which sounds as scary as it actually is. But does that mean we shouldn't use it? No, no, we can still use it. I will show you how to change the security to be more secure after we add it. So I'm gonna click Add Extension. Okay, I've gone ahead and add the extension, and now you notice this icon now shows up, the Extensions icon, which makes it easy for us to manage our extensions. This is the first extension I'm installing on this particular browser profile. Okay, it's been added. Okay, now, so what I do now, okay, the, the, I click on this, um, this, uh, and then because I'm going to be using this regularly, well, let me, let me go ahead and show you how to change the privacy first. So let me, uh, apologize for me. Let me go ahead and, uh, and, um, adjust my window a little bit here. Okay. So I'm going to change the privacy by clicking on the, on the extensions icon and clicking the three bars. And then, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I have to get, okay. So here's a tip. You have to go outside of the Chrome Web Store to be able to change the security settings. So let me go ahead and go to, uh, google.com. Okay. Just go to google.com. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to click on the extensions, click on the three dots. And this is, this can read and change site data on all sites. Like I said, it is dangerous because if we don't trust the plugin developer, we don't know who they are. They're usually friendly, but some plugin providers uh, might be trying to steal your uh, passwords, you know, bank information, whatever, whatever website you're on, they can extract the data. So, uh, instead of all sites, I like to say when you click the extension, I, I change this for pretty much all my extensions. When you click the, and it says reload page and use this extension. So I, I'm, I reload and, um, I'm going to go ahead and click on it to just double check again. Okay. Yes. When you click the extension. So, so only when I click the extension, will it actually be able to pull the data from the website that I'm on? So right now, it, uh, and by the way, to make it more convenient to click on the extension, you can pin the extension. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So in the future, if I want to use the extension, allow it to pull the data from whatever page I'm on, I can simply click it. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, now I've clicked it and something is happening. The uh, plugin says, hey, I'm trying to extract the YouTube transcript. Click OK. Uh, there is no YouTube video here, so it's going to fail. But, you know, see, no transcript available. But this is, so for example, right now, it's able to pull from, from, the, from the website I'm on. If I go to another website, let's say I go to yahoo.com or whatever. Okay, if I go here, uh, this extension cannot, um, cannot access the data on my web page right now because I haven't yet clicked it. So I hope that you will do this if, if you install extensions, because otherwise I have been hearing about people, uh, whose, um, data has been stolen by various, you know, shady plugins. Most plugins are probably safe, but you don't know which ones are shady. So you might as well know this tip. And if you definitely trust a plugin, if it's been used by many of your friends or, uh, if you, for whatever reason, trust it, then okay, then maybe you can change the security setting to be uh, able to be used on all sites easily so that it's more convenient for you. But just in case you don't trust it yet, then you can use the tip I've just given you. So I hope this is helpful. And if you have any other tips for others regarding plugin security, privacy, you can comment below and share that with others. Thanks.